Installation of a Carlin B114RR1 Gang, Old Work, Junction Box for a Switch. This junction box will be installed for a single pole switch to control a lighting fixture. Mark the location of the new switch. A Carlin B114RR1 Gang, Old Work, Junction Box Details Junction Box Capacity 14 Cubic Inches Swing Cable Clamps Ear Tightening Screws Holes for screws securing the electrical devices to the junction box Tabs supporting the junction box against the drywall Junction box, rear view Mounting ears Using the junction box as a template, draw an opening for the junction box Make sure there is no any stud under the drywall where the hole for the junction box will be cut Cut an opening for the junction box Route the cables from the power source and from the mounting location of the lighting fixture to the cutout hole for the switch junction box. Cut the cable and install the switch junction box. Screw in and out the screws of the mounting ears to create threads in the ears for easy installation. Insert the cables into the cable clamps. Insert the junction box into the junction box opening and tighten the mounting ears.
Remove the cable sheath. Fourteen two NM cable wires, white neutral wire, bare ground wire, black hot wire, wire nuts, wire nuts for splicing the ground wire, single pole switch front view, single pole switch rear view, ground terminal green screw. Hot terminals, gold screws. Ears supporting the switch on the plasterboard, if necessary, they can be cut off. Using wire nuts, connect the wires as follows. Ground, bare, wires together. Leaving the pigtail wire outside the junction box. Neutral, white, wires together and insert them into the junction box. Trim the hot, black, wires and ground wire pigtail, no shorter than 6 inches from the bottom of the junction box, and strip the ends of the wires about 1 half inch. Make a loop at the end of the ground wire and connect the wires to the switch as follows. Ground wire to the ground terminal green screw, of the switch. Hot, black, wires to the hot terminals, gold screws, of the switch in any order.
Secure the switch to the junction box. Sometimes, in order to better fit the switch wall plate to the installed switch, it is necessary to cut off the ears supporting the switch on the drywall. Install the switch wall plate. 